Hello, everybody, and welcome to our lesson for today. Uh, for this video, we are going to talk about polynomials. For our outline, we're going to identify polynomials based on the number of terms, and then we identify the degree and the leading coefficient of a polynomial. Next, we will talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. Third, we will multiply polynomials and afterwards we will talk about the special products. And lastly, we will talk about the division of polynomials. Particularly, we will talk about dividing by a monomial and then the long division method. And then lastly, we will talk about the synthetic division. So, what is a polynomial? A polynomial is an expression that can be written in the form a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus until we reach a sub 2 x raised to 2 plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. As you can see, a polynomial is a combination of terms. Each of these are called terms. This one is a term. This is another term. This is another term, another term, and another term. Terms are separated by either a plus or minus sign. Each of these terms are consists of constants, variables, and exponents. This a sub n, a sub n minus 1, a sub 2, a sub 1, and a sub 0 are the constants. The variable in this particular example is the variable x. Mind you that a polynomial or a term in a polynomial may consist of two or more variables. And each of these variables should have an exponent. As you can see, a polynomial is in a standard form if the exponent is or the terms are arranged where the exponent is decreasing all right so this one this term a sub n x raised to n is the term with the highest exponent and until we reach this term which is the constant term this term a sub zero has no variable okay this that is why it's called the constant term on the other hand the term with the highest degree is called the leading term so this is a leading term. The leading term, I repeat, is the term with the highest exponent. And the constant or coefficient of the term of this leading term is called the leading coefficient. Okay, so in this case, a sub n is the leading coefficient. How do you know if a given expression is a polynomial or not a polynomial? So, a polynomial does not have a negative exponent. An example of a, an expression with a negative exponent is x raised to negative 2. So, this is not a polynomial. Another example is 3x raised to negative 5. These examples are not polynomials. Another expression that is not considered a polynomial is an expression with a fractional exponent. Example, if we have x raised to 1 half, that is not a polynomial. Another example, if we have x raised to 2 thirds, that is not a polynomial. Another one, a, a given expression is not a polynomial if there is a variable in the denominator. As you can see, this one is the same with the negative exponent, right? Because uh, if you get the reciprocal of x raised to negative 2, it will become 1 over x squared. Okay, if you see something like this, this is not a polynomial. Okay, another example is 3 over x raised to 5. This is not a polynomial because of the variable in the denominator. Another one, if a variable is under the radical symbol. 
Example, if we have square root of x, that is not a polynomial. Another example, if we have 3, square root of x raised to 3, that is not a polynomial. A polynomial is also categorized based on the number of terms. We call a polynomial, we call it a monomial if it has only one term. We call it binomial if it has two terms. And we call it trinomial if there are three terms. Example of monomial is 3x. Another example is 4xy. This is considered one term. Another example is 5. Although this is a number, it's still considered a polynomial. So 5, a constant, is a polynomial. Okay, examples of binomials are 3x plus 2. As I said a while back, terms are separated by either plus sign or minus sign. Another example is 4 x squared y plus 4xy and examples of trinomials are 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 or we also have if 4x plus 2y plus 5 these are examples of trinomials a polynomial may also contain no variables, one variable, or two or more variables. As in the case where uh, the term is a constant, there is no variable. As our example a while back, 5 is a polynomial. It has no variable. One variable, we have 4x, or if 4x squared. These are examples of polynomials with only one variable or 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. The only variable here is x. Although this is a trinomial, the, this polynomial only contains one type of variable. Or a polynomial may also contain, contain two or more variables such as 2xy or 2x squared y squared plus 4xy. So if we are given a polynomial expression, how do we identify the degree and leading coefficient? To do this, we need to find the highest power of x or of the variable to determine the degree. Identify the term containing the highest power of x to find the leading term and then identify the coefficient of the leading term. This is true when there is only one variable. And to il illustrate this one, let us look at the following examples. For part A, we have 3 plus 2x squared minus 4x cubed. First, we need to find the term with the highest exponent. In this case, negative 4x cubed is the term with the highest exponent. Therefore, this is the leading term. Okay? So our leading term is negative 4x cubed. Therefore, the degree is the exponent of the leading term. In this case, the degree is 3. And the leading coefficient, leading coefficient is the coefficient of the leading term. And in this case, the leading coefficient is negative 4. For part B, we have 5t raised to 5 minus 2t cubed plus 7t. The term with the highest exponent is 5t raised to 5. Therefore, the leading term is 5t raised to 5. The degree is 5, that is the highest exponent, and the leading coefficient is also 5, that is the coefficient of the leading term. For the part C, we have 6p minus p cubed minus 2. 
the, the term with the highest exponent is negative p cubed. Therefore, the leading term is negative p cubed. The degree, therefore, is 3 and the leading coefficient is negative 1. Now, to, how do we identify or find the degree of a polynomial that contains two or more variables? Let us take a look at these examples. For part A, we have 4xy plus 2xy squared plus 3x. To identify the degree, we need to find the degree of each term. And whatever the highest degree, that is the degree of the whole polynomial. So, in this case, 4xy is a term, 2xy squared is another term, and 3x is another term. To find the degree of each term, we need to add the exponents. So, 4xy, x has an exponent of 1, and y has an exponent of 1. Therefore, the degree of the first term is 2. The degree of the second term is 1 plus 2 is 3. And the degree of the last term is 1. Therefore, the degree of the whole polynomial is 3. Let us take a look at part B. The degree of the first term is 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. The degree of the second term is 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. And the degree of the last term is 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. Therefore, the degree of the whole polynomial expression is 5. 